If you want to get to a place, you can simply go anywhere you want. But for politicians, celebrities and important figures have to arrange some sort of security so they can safely go out in public. This is Top 10 Arena and in this video, we will talk about Top 10 Most Protected Peoples in the World. Let's begin. At number 10, it's a 12-year-old girl in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. After she was kidnapped by seven men who tried to force her to marry one of them, she went missing for a week. By the time she was discovered, she was being guarded by three lions who had chased away her kidnappers. When she was discovered, the lions were believed to have gently left her side and returned to the jungle with no confrontation. At number 9, it's El Chapo, the real name Joaquin Guzman Luera. There are so many well-known names behind prison walls, and yet with all the notoriety, no other prisons is more heavily protected than Mr. Joaquin Guzman, the Cianola cartel drug lord whom the world is known as El Chapo. He has had been arrested several times and has always managed to escape his confinement. But ever since he was arrested again in 2016 and extradited to the United States, where he now resides in 10 South Prison in Manhattan, New York, armed guards are stationed around the clock to keep an eye on the drug lord. Each night he must sleep in a different cell and the dog who guard him must also test his food in case of confinement. At number 8, it's Jay-Z and Beyonce. The musical empire known as Jay-Z and Beyonce had been targeted often by rough fans and other criminals. After an incident in Brazil where a fan managed to get on stage and yank Beyonce down to the floor, her husband decided that he is going to ramp up their security for millions of dollars. How to do it right for that price? Jay-Z hired five new personal security guards who are all former intelligence officers to accompany the five guards that are already assigned to his wife when she travels. On top of manpower, the music giant also purchased two bomb-proof Lativa SUVs. The some protective military grade vehicles similar to those often used by former US presidents. Aside from the bodyguards, they intended to erect a security compound in their 88 million LA property, and their newborn child has a $1 million security deal. At number 7, it's Mark Zuckerberg. Since 2015, Mark has spent roughly $20 million on security, with $7.3 million going to his bodyguards for his house and travels. He has been dubbed a very prudent guy because he doesn't wear fashionable clothes and shoes. It's even been suggested that he has an escape hatch in his life. The white guard appeared to be a member of the FBI, but on the other hand, $20 million for three security guards. I believe I should drop out of school and join the military. At number 6, it's Vladimir Lenin, the most protected corpse. You would probably be surprised to learn that you don't even have to be alive to be valued and worthy of protection. A monument that now houses the remains of former Soviet leader Vladimir Lenin for nearly 95 years, his body has been under the constantly guarded protection. Soldiers are believed to have been taught that Lenin's body is the most important item Russia has. With a few exceptions, during wartime, there has been an honor guard that has kept watch over his body 24 hours a day, 7 days a week for 95 years. Hmm, some people say a man is free when he is dead, is he? Pop Francis Vatican City, a city-state near Rome, Italy, is home to the world's most well-protected religious leader, who resides in one of the world's most heavily armed towns. He is under the watchful eyes of the Swiss Guard, the world's oldest military force. Now you understand what they mean when they say, don't touch my anointed and don't harm my prophet. At number 4, it's Queen Elizabeth. Queen Elizabeth II, the first UK monarch to enjoy a golden jubilee which commemorated her 65 years reign. In 2017, it is the most protected sovereign, or should I say queen, in the world. The queen has been protected by royal guards, a name given to the infantry and cavalry that stand guards at the royal residence. You would most likely recognize the foot guards that patrol the parameters of the royal residences, the soldiers that wear the red tunics, and those all beer skin hairs. 
throughout the year. I must admit that English bodyguards do not frighten me in the last. They resemble traffic cops. You don't hear it from me, did you? At number 3, it's Kim Jong-un. Of course, North Korean Supreme Leader Kim Jong-un must be included in this list. But why? The world quickly became fascinated with the protection of the North Korean Supreme Leader Kim Jong-un when they saw his security detail running alongside his armed limousine during a visit to Singapore. How exactly does a man go about his day while being constantly paranoid about assassination attempts and competition from within his own circle of power? As it turns out, Kim Jong-un doesn't just have a personal secret service detail protecting him from close range. He has his own 100,000-man army with a command structure that reports directly to him. Number 2. It's Donald Trump Former US President Donald Trump is the world's most well-protected billionaire, with over a thousand bodyguards and annual security expenditure of $120 million. Obviously, the position of the former US President has always come with its own security detail, which means it also comes with a staff budget. Additionally, Trump has also enlisted his own personal protection detail to work simultaneously with the Secret Service. He also drives the Beast, the world's most secure car, which is supposed to be bomb-proof. At number 1, it's Vladimir Putin. Russian president is the most protected person in the world, with over 3,000 bodyguards with armored cars and a dedicated security unit that collects info on unperceived threats. You know what that means. They smell any intent, the rest is history. Putin's people seems to be an entirely different bundle altogether. Little is known about the workings of Putin's arm in the Federal Protective Service. There is no public data about its operations and there are no public availability reports. It is so secretive that only assumptions can can be made without what they do. Vladimir himself is a controversial figure that has been the center of media attention ever since his first acting presidency, where it was noted that the man had started growing a sort of personality cult around him similar to some previous leaders. So what do you think about these most protective peoples in the world? And do they need all this protection or not? Tell us in the comment sections below. Thanks for watching. If you like our video then don't forget to press subscribe button and bell icon for the latest updates. See you in the next video.